guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Elena and I create new makeup, beauty, lifestyle videos every single week. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about something I haven't talked about in a very long time, but I've been meaning to make this video for months now. I got married this past November 17th and I've been married for over four months, which has been amazing. Um, married life is definitely a lot better than engaged life and I have a list of reasons why. I absolutely love the married life. Life is so much less stressful and being engaged was like beautiful and magical but being married is just different and it's different for a better reason so I'm very blessed and lucky but I wanted to share some of the details from my day that might put some sparks into your head whether you're getting married in a month in a year in two years whether you're engaged or not engaged or even in a wedding party and you just are looking for you know being in the wedding party some ideas or anything like that I did a whole wedding series that I um, filmed along the way which I absolutely look back and I smile because you know it's just a different time in your life things change so fast and you get to look back and be like oh my gosh this is what I was doing or you know I filmed a lot of the journey so I wanted to share with you guys some of the details of my day I did do a post wedding update so if you guys haven't watched that oh, I will link it because I just love looking back on that video I feel like it was just, everything was fresh. It was three days after the wedding. I sat down and I filmed and everything was like right from the top of my head. These are just questions that I've answered. So I'm going to take you guys through. Be sure to keep watching because I promise it will spark something in your head that you are not remembering or that you're forgetting and you'll be happy you watched. So I'm going to answer some of these questions. But another reason why I wanted to do this was because um, I wanted to share some of my advice from my time being a bride and because I know a lot of my friends, their times are coming and I'll be back into full wedding planning mode again at some point you know within the next few years so that's exciting too so I want to like refresh my memory and just make sure that I put it all out there for you guys because the wedding trends and all the different things change every second of every day and within a year everything's different so I wanted to go ahead and share some of this with you guys these questions are from topweddingquestions.com these are the 50 top wedding planning questions I just pulled some of them that I thought would be very interesting to you guys what was the timeline of your ceremony and reception. The timeline of our ceremony and reception are this was really hard for me to plan out. I pretty much finalized it when we were making our wedding invites, but our ceremony started at 2:30 and our cocktail hour started at 5:30. Our reception started at 6:30. So, we had about 2 hours, I would say, after the ceremony and then on the way to get to the reception for pictures. The only thing that I would maybe do a little bit different would be give myself a little bit more time for photos. So you might think that three hours sounds like a really long time to get pictures done, but you start talking to people and then you have to figure in travel time. So we got beautiful photos. I was absolutely so happy with them. But that's the only thing that I might have done a little bit different that day would be give myself a little bit more time for photos. The next question is how long were you engaged for? So we were engaged for a year and four months-ish. Like year or three, we got engaged on July 26th of 2017. It's my birthday. It was like the best 23rd birthday present anyone could ever ask for. People always like, I've had a couple people ask like, what's it like getting engaged on your birthday? Like, does it change anything? Like, you now have an anniversary. And I'm like, no, like that is the best birthday present I could have ever gotten. I was so happy and just like over the moon. I will never forget that birthday for as long as I live. But so we got engaged that day and we got married on November 17th, 2018. So that engagement being a year and four months, felt like a long time and this is one thing I wanted to bring up that you guys might not think of so uh, my mother-in-law got me the not wedding planner and it was like just a book and you answer questions like what kind of dress are you looking for what kind of photos do you want what kind of veil do you want like you answer every single question it has tabs of different um like categories for wedding planning and I was absolutely like obsessed with it and I filled it out the night off. I remember one of my good friends, Melissa came over, she brought over like bridal magazines, champagne, like balloons, a bridal robe, like so cute. People were so giving, like it was insane. But I had all this stuff and we were like filling out the wedding planner and I read it back like maybe 10 months later 
and I was like, oh my gosh, like so much has changed. I said like I wanted a certain type of veil and I got a completely different veil because it all depends on what you choose. Just looking back, your style will change. If you are engaged for a year or longer, your style will change. I always wanted a November wedding and I knew I had to have it. And though we got engaged in July, I always knew I wanted a November wedding no matter what. I always wanted like the week before Thanksgiving. I don't know why. Just since I was a kid, that's exactly what I wanted. So that's what, that's what I got. My husband was really cool. He let me pick whatever day I wanted. So I was like, perfect, November 17th. That's when we're getting married. Next question is, did you do a first look? We did not do a first look. Um, I, we had no use for it. Like we had, we had enough time between our ceremony and everything. Um, but I just, that was never something that I wanted. I'm extremely traditional and not saying that if you do a first look, you're not traditional, but I was just very like knew what I wanted. And I knew that I wanted the moment that I walked down the aisle to be the first time that my husband saw me. And it really was special. And I like think about waiting in the room to go down to the ceremony before everything happened and like getting that cue that it was my time to go and I was like oh like so nervous I had butterflies in my stomach to like walk down the aisle to see my husband I was just nervous I don't know I didn't get nervous until like right before but I I got a little bit nervous and I can't imagine walking down the aisle even though I would have been less nervous but having already seen my husband and having him already have seen me like I was like so excited for the ceremony be like did you like my dress like what do you think of it I thought he knew exactly what I was gonna be wearing he's like oh you'll be in a long sleeve wedding dress you'll be in this this and that your hair will look like this like he thought he knew it all and was actually very different next question was a blusher or no blusher so if you guys know what I'm talking about it is like a second veil or it is part of your veil that goes over your face and you wear it down the aisle and then whoever walks you down the aisle flips it over. So mine was my dad. So I wore a blusher. I'm going to insert a photo right here of my favorite bridal portrait of me right here. And it was with my blusher. I was obsessed with it. I thought it was such a beautiful photo and I told the photographer right away. I'm like, okay, there's one photo that I really want to get and it's like the blusher over the face, like a really quiet moment before I go down the aisle and we were able to get that. I highly suggest that you do it. Um, a seamstress can actually cut like the fabric. It's just tool and make you one if you already ordered a veil that doesn't have that. It's just like a shorter veil and it can just be a second layer and then you could take it off. I took it off right after the ceremony and then I just kept my single veil because you know, I I just wanted like the one veil that I had and I had no more use for my blusher so it's just up to you that's my blusher and that's my take on it I think if you are some like if you like that photo or you like the idea of wearing the veil over your face do it the next question was did you have place cards or a seating chart or what did you have I did not have place cards. I am going to insert a photo of my seating chart right here. This was my mother and I's pride and glory because it turned out so beautiful. I saw it on Etsy and I was able to create it just with some materials from Hobby Lobby and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I had never seen a seating chart like this. The next question was, would you do a photo booth, yes or no? Absolutely. We had a photo booth and I was kind of like, it was one of those things that I booked in a package with the DJ, like up lighting and all that stuff. And I booked a photo booth because I really wanted one. And then towards the end, I was like, I probably could have done without that. Like, why did I have to be so extra? But then once the reception came, like people had so much fun in that photo booth and I didn't know that the bride and groom get a whole book of all the photos. So we had a whole book and we still have it of everybody's cards and we go by and I'm like, I didn't know this person knew this person or this person knew this person. So it's really funny. So I highly recommend if you have it in your budget or you're going to make room for it in your budget, do a photo booth because people love it and people will use it. Just make sure that it's in a spot where people know it's there and they feel comfortable using it. But we had like a line to use our photo booth. People were loving it. So absolutely do a photo booth. Uh, next was, did you do thank you cards? I did do thank you cards. I actually found those beautiful thank you cards. I did everything through Zazzle. I did my invitations, my accommodation cards, RSVP cards, everything through Zazzle. And then I ended up doing my thank you cards as well. They were like $200, I think. But they were so beautiful. And I ended up getting the postcard kind where they you can write in like, 
this little thing like thank you so much for sharing your day with us everything was really and then you can kind of like handwrite your little note but there's like a blurb already written for you and it's a postcard so you just write the address and you put a little stamp on it and it makes life a lot easier we got married on november 17th and i had the thank you cards in the mail by new year's eve because i just wanted to get them out they were like hanging over my head i'm one of those people who like if i know i have to do something i can't relax until i do it so once they came in and i was able to get them out i was really happy the next question is do you go on your honeymoon with a married name or your maiden name so it really depends on the time frame that you go on your honeymoon um, if you're going the day after you get married you're going with your maiden name because there's no way you can legally change your name on any documentation so if you're doing any traveling like with um like you're booking it ahead of time do not put your future name because you won't be able to get through security because you won't have any documentation that says your name and your married name but me we went on our honeymoon like a month and a half later and i changed my name the week i got married like i went to social security and changed everything so the dmv bank all the places just know that if you have a little bit of a time lapse between the two events then definitely you can change your name you could book your travel with your future name it's cute like you know if you're changing your name and you want to it's kind of cute to have but if you are going right away or within like a week I would say don't don't do your future name because you won't be able to go anywhere because it won't be the right name <laughs> all right one last tip before I signed off and if you guys liked this video I will make more if you have questions you can leave them down below but this is the last tip I wanted to leave and it was about wedding bands um, I got my husband's a lot sooner than I got mine because we went and looked and his was like more simple like I knew exactly what he wanted and I was able to find it and buy it and surprise him with it but for my wedding band I looked at two different places but I went to both places a couple times we looked at wedding bands as like a joke three weeks after we got engaged because we just wanted to see like what looked good but after I went to another place and I looked and I found a band that I really liked and I was like okay beautiful this is perfect and then I left and we didn't buy it because we had like so much time until the wedding and then we went back in September and I tried on I'm not kidding eight different rings and I wasn't set if I wanted a cradle or just a band I was like I don't have to have a cradle it doesn't matter my husband's like yes like you want it you're getting it so that was very nice of him so this is what my wedding set looks like if I can kind of bring it up to the camera my engagement ring is still a little big but the cradle holds it in place so that's what the cradle looks like and this was the last one because I had a very specific thing in mind I wanted it to be just very close fitting and just straight and I wanted it to be diamonds but plain I wanted the center stone to really do the talking so as you can see I had an idea of what I wanted and I'm not that picky but I knew that this was gonna be a piece of jewelry that I was gonna wear for probably 80 years so I wanted it to be beautiful all the different cradles that I was trying on kind of took away from the center stone and then I tried this one on and I was in love. So you will know when it's the right wedding band. Don't settle. And you can always buy another one, but don't go and buy like a really expensive band and then decide that you don't like it. I loved this one so much. I was wearing it around the house and I know that's bad luck, but I would like sneak it on and like run around and be like, Marco, look at this. And it was just really funny. So, all right, that is all that I have for you guys today. I want to say one last thing, which is enjoy the time of your wedding. It will go by so fast. Don't get caught up in little things. Just enjoy the time. Um, I said that the month before your wedding goes by so slow. And then by the time you're married, you will be like, oh my gosh, today's our four month anniversary. Yesterday was, or last month was our, th like you just start thinking and you're like, oh, it's the 17th. It's our five month anniversary. It's our six month anniversary. Time just goes by so fast. I feel like before we know it, it will be our one year anniversary. And I am very, just very happy. And I just can't believe that this is my life. I was joking that I, <laughs> um, I was, single for 21 years and i you know graduated college in may and i ended up meeting my husband like a little bit after that and i was ending up 
like engage within a year of that. So your life can change very fast. Things change very fast and before you know it, time flies. If you guys liked this video at all, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, let me know if it helped you in any way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon again in my next video.